we have seen R type. Now let's look at I type instruction. I type involves a constant, it's called immediate value. For I type, 12 bits are allocated for immediate value. So it's going to involve two registers, one is source register 1, the other one is destination register. And the function will be defined by function 3, 3 bits, the kind of operation that we want to do. It could be add or and. And the operation will be performed between source register and the constant. That's the difference. In case of R type, we perform all these operations between source register 1 and source register 2. When it comes to I type, we perform the operation between source register 1 and immediate value. And the opcode defines whether the instruction is of I type. Also, for shift operation, again, the immediate values, especially the bits 4 down to 0, defines the shift amount. We will look at some examples. These are all I type instructions. Add I. It does addition with constant, so RS1 plus immediate value. We calculate this immediate value by doing sign extension. So as per the specification, what we need to do, we need to extend the sign bit. So there are 12 bits, so the remaining bits will be filled with sign bit. So eventually it's going to be 32 bits. So this IMMI immediate constant is going to be 32 bits and that will be added to RS1. RS1 is also 32 bits. So the destination register will have the value of 32 bits. That's how it works. XR, RS1, XR, immediate value. Similarly, we have operations like R and, and shift left logical immediate. So when it comes to shift, we use the bits 4 down to 0, only these bits and this subset of the immediate value defines the shift amount, how many bits we want to shift. It could be left shift or it could be right shift and similar to R type, we also have shift right arithmetic. When you say shift right arithmetic, it's going to add the sign bit, set less than immediate and set less than immediate for unsigned value. Look at the example. Again, we can classify all these instructions into of type arithmetic, add i, logical, and i, or i, xri, shift, shift left logical i, shift right logical i, shift right arithmetic i, comparison, set less than immediate, set less than immediate unsigned. And this is the format instruction, destination register, source register 1 and constant. For example, add i, destination register x30, source register x12 and the constant 2. It means x30 is going to be x12 plus 2. xri, x30 is x12, xr2, srli, shift right logical immediate. So x12 right shift by 2. We can also do subtraction through addition. In this case, the constant will be negative number. It will be represented as 2's complement. So we can do add i x30 source register x12 and the constant minus 2. So x30 equal to x12 plus minus 2. It's going to do add operation. So we can do subtraction through addition. 
let's say there is a complex expression something like this a equal to b plus 2 left shift c and the constant phi so there are two source registers for variables b and c they are the operands x12 x13 two source registers one destination register for the variable a x30 is going to have the result also we need some temporary registers x28 for the temporary value t1 and x29 for the temporary value t2 look at the logic we will calculate b plus 2 and the intermediate value will be stored in the temporary variable and then we will perform left shift c the value will be stored in t2 and then finally t2 bitwise and 5 and that will be stored in the variable a so here we are going to do everything through registers so the assembly program would look like this add i x28 destination register x12 source register and the constant 2 so here this x28 is for temporary variable t1 you need to remember this and then we will do shift left logical the result will be stored in x29 which is again the register for another temporary variable t2 look at this and this one x28 the values will be shift through x13 so basically the amount of shift is defined by x13 which is nothing but c and then finally and i so this is destination register the final result and this is the one x29 and bitwise and will be performed between x29 and the value phi that's how it's going to produce the result so if you want to realize an expression like this basically we need to write assembly program something like this